Hi there, Politic Games audience members. Um, I'm just gonna walk you, just gonna give you a little good old talking to while you watch. Uh, watch me develop, program my own version of the classic arcade game Galaga in Java. Um, um, just a little, uh, little preface, I'm a little sick, so... Just be aware that my voice is going to be sounding pretty darn sexy. So, try not to get too turned on. Yeah, baby. Anyway, so basically, like, my process for making a game is pretty much the same every time. Um, like, the first step is always to like make a to-do list, like a super organized to-do list where like I write down everything I need to do, like all the graphics I need to make and then all the things I need to code and then I just, throughout the whole process, I just go down and, and check them off. Um, so that's what I'm doing here, working on these graphics. Um, I uh, Since I was like taking like the the whole like premise and like all the mechanics of Galaga I wanted I didn't want to just like take the just take the graphics too did I say that did that make I don't know but I, I just I didn't want to just like Google image search the graphics and then just put those in the game in order to make my own stuff um, so I just sort of drew non 8-bit versions of uh, of the all the all the items. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I think uh, I'm a lot better at drawing than I am at coding. So, so um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. This one, this uh, this little bug guy, I'm I'm actually pretty proud of. It's pretty uh, pretty detailed, but also like pretty like minimalistic too. It's not like too complex too too all over the place so yeah, I don't know, I'm like pretty happy with it um, <coughs> sorry that's just the demons in my body trying to <coughs> fight their way out of me um, uh, yeah the game as of like where it is now not in the video but where it is like finished now it's not finished um, it's not finished like I'm gonna still do work on it I'm gonna uh, make it better but it's uh, it looks good so that's uh, that's something um, I uh, I don't remember the first time I played Galaga it might have been at a friend's house I think he had like uh, a Wii game that was like a collection of all like the classic the classic um, like retro arcade games and I like Galaga and Pac-Man and all those and I think that's probably the first place I played it um, but I remember like one time I played it was in a pizza a small pizza place uh, just outside of Vegas, near the Hoover Dam. Um, I don't remember the food of that place at all. I just remember that they had an arcade machine and I played Galaga. Um, so. Yeah, so like, I am. Um, I'm like really enjoying doing this, just sort of. Cause like before I was all like stressed out about trying to make games that were like super good quality and like super professional looking, um, like do some of like, some like Activision, Ubisoft quality shit, um, like on my own, which I now realize is like kind of unrealistic. Um, ambition is good. Um, I want to, I want to keep, I'm going to hold on to that. And like keep like you know striving for to like to be to be like really good, but also like acknowledge that like those companies have like huge teams of thousands of people and like billions of dollars, 
um, to put into their game, so so I'm gonna be at a little a little disadvantage there. Um, but yeah, like I'm gonna, but I'm really enjoying this this whole series, just like sort of relaxing and just having fun making making these like little games. Um, I mean, like next, I was thinking I would do uh, something else retro, like Pac-Man or or Mario or Donkey Kong or something like that. One of those classic ones. I've never actually played those. If you if you watch a previous video of mine, I, I explain why why I've never played any of those. You can check that out if you wanted to. No pressure or anything. Um, Oh, video's almost over. I mean, like, approaching approaching the end, so, um... I played a Aquilinox recently, the game by, uh, by Thin Matrix, another, another YouTuber. And that was really good. Like, it wasn't finished at all, and there were, like, a lot of bugs, but, like, despite that, it was, like, it was really good. And I don't know if that was just because, like, I'd been watching the devlogs... Um, and like watching like his whole process behind it, but like I enjoyed it. It was fun um, uh, Speaking of Speaking of thin matrix um, and how he distributes his his game via patreon. I Also distribute my products via patreon. You can go to my patreon and you can for only one dollar it's real cheap it's like the smallest donation you could possibly make for that really small uh, donation you can get access to not only all of the games that I have made and will make in the near future uh, but you also get access to the source code and all of these like assets so like the drawings and stuff that I do so you can uh, play my game, you can also edit the code, use my code as like a jumping off point to make your own game, you can use my assets, do whatever you want with those, and just have fun, and it's just one dollar, it's real easy, real cheap, you can just do that. So, uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and do that if you want to, no big deal or anything. Um should uh, also uh, go ahead and like ask me some questions in the comment section of this uh, of this video you know comment participate engage with me I, I love it when I love to see that like when like when somebody goes into the comments and says stuff like nice video dope this is cool I like this like that like I don't want to like like I can't say enough like how much that makes my day that like I made something and someone enjoyed it um so like I really enjoy that so definitely like go in there and do that and like like give me questions so like next time I do a video like that I can answer some questions from uh y'all from you from you viewers that'd be a real real fun time you could do that we'll party together it'll be real real cool we'll all hang out like buddies you can also do that on Instagram and Twitter at Politic Games on both of those. You can ask, send me questions, say things on there if you want. Uh, links to those will be in the description of this video. <coughs> video. I'm dying. <laughs> I just uh, many frogs in my throat. A, a whole of a, a veritable. 10 plagues of frogs inside of my body right now. Oh, so video is coming to a close. So let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a boy. That's a lame story already, so I'm going to cut that out right now. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then don't do those things. Because I, uh, you know, I don't want to peer pressure you into doing anything. 
you know, you don't want to do. But, you know, just like, you know, it's there. If you did like it, I would really appreciate to know that. So, you know, go ahead and go for it. Comment things. Comment nice things. Comment mean things if you want. I get a lot of nice comments. I feel like I'm not really getting the full YouTube experience. So, uh, you know, comment things. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that's what's up. As you can see, the game only has one little alien in it. But, you know, I got, like, the life system and the life system all figured out. Like, the lives and the shooting and, and you can kill that one alien. And so, like, all I got to figure out is, like, I'm a little, like, kind of shaky on how, like, a, a class works in Java. So, like, if I get clear on that, like, figure out, like, classes and arrays and all that. Then I can uh, make it so there's a lot more of these guys and it'll be a lot harder because, like, you know, in this particular little demo, I'm just kind of wandering around just to just to extend it to show it off. But but I'll figure it out and make it better. Or, you know, you can download it and make it better yourself uh, from Patreon. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.